Hello, this is Kevin, uh, Kevin and Sherry, uh, looking at our new 29-gallon tank uh, uh, we built and set up. It's got the blue lights on right now. It's got a nice stunner on it. Let me focus in and zoom in. Uh, we got a new Mombasa lionfish. He's sitting right there. You can see him. A nice color. You can't see his color too much in the blue, but he's really, really red. Let me back up a little bit. This is some of our uh, larger corals and soft corals we've moved uh, from, from our 100 gallon reef. You can see some of the fluorescing of the, of the corals against the blue light, some of the zooanthids and the red brain we have there in the middle. Hey look honey, there's Corby, our new cowfish. There's our new little cowfish there. Corby. He's a neat little fish. And there's some of our zooanthids down there. There he is. There comes the Mombasa lionfish. How big will he get? He'll, at mature size, he'll be about 10 inches long. He won't stay in this tank. This is a tank we use and set up just to uh, hand train the lionfish to uh, learn to accept food from us and and uh, and not waste away and die in the tank. And you know it's hard on lionfish sometimes because they all they do is sit and hide up underneath an overhang or a crevice. And a lot of times they waste away in the tank because they don't get adequate food. So I try to work and, and hand train them to come up to me in the tank. I do the same to puffers and to, to teach them to come up to me to feed. There he is again. There's Tusk, honey, the Harlequin Tusk. Yeah, we got a little baby Harlequin Tusk in here. I don't know if I can see him here real well. He just went by. He just went by. He's only about an inch long. He's a the tiny guy. The smallest one I've ever seen. Let me move around here. See if we can get a little look on. We just got the Mombasa lionfish from Blue Zoo Aquatics today. Nice, beautiful fish. Along with two wrasses. Along with two more wrasses that we put in our 300 and they're already out and feeding. You see up there maybe, there's you can see there's a maroon clown in there. Rooney. We call him Rooney. I'll now turn around to the 300. And here we go, right around. Looking at it on the end. See if we can see, there's our pink face rash, and there's paddlefin rash going by. Everybody wants food when they see me. We got a nice, beautiful colored porcupine puffer in here. First one we've been able to keep for a while. He's, uh, he's pretty aggressive. Trying to find him here for you. There's Puff Daddy, our our dog face puffer, he, uh, the porcupine don't like him too well. I'm trying to find out where he's at. Oh, he's under the rock where Puff Daddy's. Oh, that's right, okay. Oh, I head. see him here. Let me see if the camera, this HD high definition, can. he's right there up hey, underneath. Hey, there's Goldbar, up on the red rock. And there's the new banana rasp. over there at Bluesy. Okay, there's our new banana wrasse. Yeah, he's a male. Yeah. And there's our new gold bar wrasse. What do we call him? Oh, just call it. Like a gold yeah, Pretty fish, got a good oh, shot of him. There's our Lartel hawk fish right there. He's gotten, he's grown quite a bit since we first got him. Tonga, my Maori wrasse, red-breasted Maori. Oh, show the high hat. I forgot to name that last time. The drum fish. Yeah, here's our high hat. He's a drum. Okay. There she is. She's different. There's Lucky our unicorn chain. Oh, and I forgot to name uh, tobacco basslet over here. Our basslet. Looking over to our hundred. There's the yeah. back. He's up on the top by the starfish, by the lake here. It's kind of right going through here. There he is. Our tobacco cool. basslet. He's cool. 
He stays out all the time. It's all about the urchins. We got our uh, sea apple here is out. All the polyps are out on our gorgonian here. The polyps are out on the devil's hand. And film the uh, urchins. Right here in a row, we got a green torch. We got some orange zoanthids right above it there. We got the uh, sun coral. We got the frog spawn here. Don't forget the cucumbers. I forgot those. Yeah, ones. we got five different ones, and well, including the sea apple. There's our spaghetti coral. The, what looks blue now on this blue mushroom there underneath our blue actinic. See, it really glows bright green. And this uh, little finger leather growing out of this shell, it was on a little small rock, and it dropped down in the shell, and it finally grew up out of the shell. There's our torch. It looks like it's dividing into a couple of heads. And we have a lot of different things. We surely hope you enjoy the, the fish and the videos we make because we surely enjoy doing them. Sitting Sorry, next to here. Pastime. Better than tea Those tea. are called crater polyps. And they've been multiplying pretty good since oh, we first got them. Blenny. And right next to them is the scooter blenny. Kind of crawling away. All the chromies. Two were rescue chromies. And I see the sea pen is gone, so he's under this hand for the night, getting ready to go down. Here comes the lantern basslet up we underneath the overhang. There, right? Yeah. Chalk, a lantern, and a. There's our new purple tang. Oh, that's my new prize. And we named her Whoopi. Yeah, I changed it from Virgo to Whoopi. Yeah, we named her Whoopi. And here's, so here's the little yellow cucumber, a little tiny guy, and he, you can see he's got his little tentacles out. Hey, fire shrimp's out under the rock there, under the green. And right underneath him is our pretty fire shrimp in there. Oh, and I forgot dolphin shark. There he is. Yeah, you forget a lot of things. Phineas. Not really. Phineas. That was Phineas. Or I call him Sharky. There's our little liar tail chromie. As he was sold to us, we think he's actually a liar tail damsel. And he don't like a lot of things. You can see him fighting there. He's a little territorial. Big soup. Cucumber on the back wall. Ah, uh, there's our lavender tang here. She's real pretty. She's been a real hearty fish. And the other uh, rabbit in there, I made a mistake last time. That's a yeah, the rabbit we have in this tank rabbit. is our uh, Pacific coral rabbit fish. And there he is. That's our t tobacco basket. It's a couple of our freshwater mollies up there that we converted over to salt. Those are the what babies. What are they doing, honey? And they're eating the algae that I'm letting grow on the glass. That's right. They love that. So don't be Turn. afraid to let your stuff grow sometimes, even if it's not clean and pretty. Fish love it. Here's a rabbit fish here, and he was sold to us as a gold spot rabbit. But from all the research I've done, and the best I can come up with, I think she's what's called a fork tail rabbit fish. She's not, definitely not a gold spot. She, but she's real peaceful. She's gotten big real quick. She's about nine and a half to ten inches right now. She's real peaceful. Gets along with everybody. Gilly's you can really see her, good. see her design a little bit here. If anybody out there that watches this video knows exactly what she is, feel free to make comments on the video and let us know. Keep us updated. And thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.